In this video, we're going to slow down a bit and take a look at the different type of interactive questions you can add to a PDF or JPEG using TeacherMade.com. If you have not visited the other videos, you may want to go back and learn how to set up your worksheet, how to create your first one. So all I'm doing now is giving it a name and I'm uploading a PDF I found on a site called k5learning.com. The interesting thing that teachermade.com does is it takes out the need to have extensions and add-ons and going to various sites to break apart big PDFs. What you're about to see is that this 10-page PDF is going to show up on my screen as all separate pages that I can choose to use or not use in my interactive worksheet. Here we go. So here are the 10 pages. This last page is the answer sheet. I don't want to use that for the student's worksheet. So I'm going to click and highlight with a red box each of the pages that I do want to make interactive and hit create worksheet. Now comes the fun part. Now I get to insert different types of questions for the students to complete and for teachermade.com to score for me. I really like that part. So here we go. First type of question I'm going to show you is short answer. Now for every type, you could go to the insert menu Choose one from the drop down. They're all listed here. If you always want to do things quickly, like me, you can use the quick access menu. So they're all here. And remember, if you point to something, you don't have to click, just point and it'll tell you. So for this first one, I know I want a short answer. And a short answer will not allow multiple lines, it is just simply meant for a word or a short phrase. So I drew the box to make it interactive. I double click and now I can assign it a number of points for grading. I can type in the answer that I'm looking for. If I want to also say that they could type capital C career, they, I could add it. I can check that it must match the case to be correct and hit save. Now, obviously when the students see this, they will not see the answer there. That is simply an indicator that you have given that an answer for teachermade.com to grade. I'm going to show you again, you could go to insert short answer, and here's a little pro tip. You can draw your box, and before adding an answer, hold down control, the control key, and tap D to duplicate it as many times as you need. So that was hold down the control key and tap D as in dog to duplicate that box as many times as you need it. Now you can double click in each one and add the correct answers that you would like teachermade.com to use in order to automatically grade this for you. Man, that sounds good to me. Now we're gonna skip those. Here, use each word in a sentence. Now I wanna say this, it says underline the word use, but my experience has been that the student underline tool does not work in the box that they're typing in. So I wanna show you a pro tip here that we can actually use this eraser to block out that part of the direction. So watch this. I'm going to block it out by clicking the eraser and I'm going to draw over it. Now the students can't see that, okay? If you wanted to add your own text box, you could now do that as well and add your own um, directions for them to follow. But instead for a sentence, we don't wanna use a short answer. We're going to wanna use an open answer. So P, maybe that stands for paragraph, it says open answer. I'm going to simply draw a nice big box there and the student can type as many words and as many lines that will fit in that space. Again, I could go insert 
open answer and draw my box, or once I click on a box, I can hold Control D to duplicate it as many times as I want. Now, some of you might be thinking, aha, she forgot to give it an answer. Well, notice there is no answer box there. It's because those open ended, they're going to be different for every student. So you can't put a correct answer in there. We all know that those are the ones that we're going to need to go back and put our own teacher eyes on, okay? So now that I've got my boxes up, all right, do this one last one. The next type is matching. Now I did go over this in the other video. I can go to insert matching or I can use the quick menu. And what it asks you to do first is draw small boxes around the areas that you want to be indicated as click areas. So what the kids are gonna be doing is they're going to be drawing lines between these. And I'm not going to do all of them, folks, because we don't wanna sit here and watch videos all day. We all have lesson plans and things to do maybe even some lives to live as teachers. So I'm just going to do a few. But what I wanted to show you was that red means they've been inserted, but we want them to be graded. And this is different than the short answer above. In order to have these matched, you're going to click on one of the choices, hold shift, and click the correct answer. Click a choice, hold shift, click the match. Okay, so you would do this for all of these. You're telling teachermade.com when they review this, these are correct matches. Now, scrolling down, I see that it says write two more words that are spelled with the OU letters that make the OO sound and circle them. Again, I want to remind you, you cannot, my experience with this has been, you cannot use the tools inside of the box that you typed in. And I'll show you that when we get to the next video, the student view. So I might take that eraser and I may block out that part, okay? I could also use the eraser to block out that part if I want to make the box smaller. So I'm gonna put this in as open-ended, all right? Or I can undo and I could choose to put this in as two text boxes. So watch this pro tip. Here's one text box, right? Here's the other text box. And when you click each one, you can even come up and you could change the font the size, the, the um, color, but I even like to change the border color to show them that they need to do two different answer choices, okay? Now, can I put answer choices in here? I'm not certain because there are many words that would fit this answer. So even though it's asking me for some, I wanted you to know you can leave them blank and you can grade them yourself. Now, this is gonna be important, this word search in the student view of this in the next video. I'm going to show you that the student can even draw lines under this or use the pencil tool to circle this. And the last one I wanna show you in this video is multiple choice. So here they've given me boxes, but if I go to insert multiple choice, I choose how many different choices. In this case, it's four. I'm going to click and they give me them and I can resize this. And remember, resize is just grab any of those blue boxes. I wanna make sure that the circles match up next to the choices. And for this to be graded, I need to choose the correct one by clicking in it, okay? So that's multiple choice. Check boxes will allow multiple checks to be made. So this will allow one choice, check boxes, multiple checks. And I'm not going to revisit open answers and the rest. 
that's a pretty good start for some of the common tools you would use. There's also something called a hotspot that will allow you to put it over a picture or a choice you want the students to click on. Um, Teachermade.com has great YouTube videos. You should check them out. They're there, and that's one of the videos should you need it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what we just made from a student point of view in the preview section, and we're going to look at how you can support your students in using the tools that they're given to complete this worksheet digitally.